This video is sponsored by Skillshare. Hi everyone, let's put some motors on this thing. Sponsor time! This video is sponsored by Skillshare and that's awesome because I love learning and I have little time for it. They offer thousands of classes for highly creative and extremely curious people like you and me in so many different topics like illustration, design, productivity. Their classes are designed for real life, which means that you don't need to put your life on hold and that's very convenient when you have a busy routine like I do. So, at the moment, I'm following a few classes, especially in video editing, but the one I'm focusing more at the moment is one about After Effects Animation by Jake Bartlett that is teaching me how to make animations. You should definitely check it out. At less than $10 a month, I feel like Skillshare is very affordable. You get unlimited access to all the classes. Click the link in the description below to get two free months of premium membership. Thank you Skillshare for sponsoring this video. And now, back to the tank. And Spacer!
Mini Spacer. Got the chains. Is Spacer. one finished here and well I've already did the other one just to check if everything fits and this one has an ESC and a receiver connected so let's test if it works but it seems that it can go slow which is a must this is a huge tank a hundred and something kilos going berserk is not ideal. I need some finesse in the control. Let's see, let's, but let's see if we can go faster. That, 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 that's scarily fast. Okay, and we can go forward and backward. So as it seems that this works, let's see if it fits back in the tank. Spacer! I've been working on this tank for at least two years. And this is the first time that it's going to move by its own means. I'm a bit nervous because it could just well, smash against the wall or something. But I, I'm, I'm pretty confident slash nervous. This is really difficult.
Well, I have to. <laughs> oh, my God. Wish me luck. <laughs> oh, oh, whoa. I can go forward and backward, but I cannot like turn. It's too creepy. For, for all of you that uh, advise me to use TPU on the wheels, if it is too creepy, it doesn't, it, it doesn't slide. But still, this, this is awesome. Oh, ouch. <laughs> okay, that's, that's better. Here goes nothing. Oh, 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 oh. What? I think I broke something on that gearbox. In the other hand, I think we have enough power. Let me do a quick disassembly and show you. There is your problem. The sheer strength of the motor plus the reduction broke the bolt, the sheer force. Here it is. Those, those were M4 bolts, so I will redrill everything to M5 and we will try again. I've switched all the bolts to M5, they were all M4. I think now everything is more robust and I've increased the current to the motors. Those ESCs that I'm using are for sensored motors and these motors are sensorless. I have a solution for that for an incoming video, but let's do, let's do one, one more test. The ESCs are tuned down, 10% power, 10% speed, and still it's pretty difficult to control this thing. And I have a solution for that in mind, probably for the next video. So that's it for this one. Thanks a lot to all my Patreon supporters for allowing me to do this. Thank you all. Please consider supporting me on Patreon. Please consider subscribing if you want to see what happens with this one. And now please go and make something!